game of high stakes, where every decision is a gamble, and every move can be your last. High Rollers once again, ladies and gentlemen, and our returning champion had a nice big win on our last episode. Brandon Scruggs became our third jackpot winner of the season last time. How do you feel about that? Oh, I was very excited. I, I was just happy I got I got the win because the main game was a battle to get there, but I got lucky. The dice from my side and managed to pull it off. So I'm just trying to figure out how, where I'm going to spend some of it now. Yeah. Well, I will say this. That bonus round that we had last time was probably one of the more exciting ones we've had this season. All right. Uh, your opponent uh, <clears throat> for this episode is, uh, well, for this season he has not played yet. Travis Coulter, ladies and gentlemen. So, Travis, welcome into High Rollers. How are you? I am doing fine. And uh, you uh, have your work cut out for you here because uh, Brandon's won, uh, Brandon won a lot of money last time and he's going for his third win. Do you think you can stop him? Hope I can do that, yeah. All right. Well, we shall see what happens as we begin this match. That's better. Call number one, a boat... An espresso machine and now a glass top desk. Call number two, an elliptical trainer to start off. And call number three, trip to Aspen, Child's Room, Jeep Wrangler, barbecue and exercise cycle. So that is still full. And the board value is 53933 Oh, yeah. No, it is call number two, which only has that... Uh, Two thousand dollar elliptical trainer in it, uh, but still a pretty good prize though. Uh, Brandon, you're on the Z key once again, and Travis is on the M key this time. All right, first question: What type of punctuation mark do we use most frequently? Brandon. A period. That and the comma actually. Hmm. All right. And, 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 and. And, uh, first roll of the dice goes to Travis. Roll. Darn it, it does not like me. I'll do it. There we go. And you have a six, Travis, and it's a double. It's a rubble. I'll take the six. Rubble, rubble. <laughs> All right, next question. For how many years was Rip Van Winkle asleep? Brandon. A hundred? Uh, all right. Forty? <laughs> all right, I'm gonna need to check this because my book may be inaccurate here. You may be inaccurate. <laughs> Nope, my book is right. 20 years. Oh. Duty years. Travis, you get to roll. Oh. I'm gonna roll. <laughs> yeah, it still doesn't work. It don't like me. Alright. You have an 8 there, Travis. 8, please. Eight by itself. How many seconds are in 4 and a half minutes? Buzz. Uh, oh. <laughs> Alright, Travis. 270. 270. Very good. And the dice are yours. Uh, roll. Five. Five. All right, all numbers are still in play. What breed of dog is Snoopy? Bud. Brandon. Shit. 
A beagle. <laughs> there you go, Brandon. Right. Third time the charm for you. Go ahead and roll. I forgot it. <laughs> <laughs> Say, I was wondering if I was going to get a chance here. Here we go. Come on. Give me a big number. Big lumber. Six. Hmm. Two. Um, let's do the one, two, and three. Okay. Three, two, one. Contact. It's six. Three, two, one, face mask. <laughs> what is the Hawaiian <laughs> word for an elaborate feast? Buzz. Sorry. All right, and it's Travis. Luau. Luau, yes. Blue owl. Um, I'm going to pass. Okay. Dice are yours, Brandon. Yeah. As I expected. All right. Four, nine, seven, eleven. Let's go. You got a twelve, which you can't use, but you do get another turn. All right. Four, nine, seven, eleven. Four. That gives you the it. elliptical trainer. Woo! I'll take it. The All right. Trainer. Next one. Florence Nightingale was the lady of the lamp in what conflict? The Boer War, the Crimean War, or the Civil War? Brandon? I think it was the Crimean War. That is correct. Damn it. All right, what would you like to do? Your turn, Travis. Wish all, right, buzzer over to Travis. Wish all my shit was working, but none of it's working. So roll, Mark. Three. But you do have that insurance marker, so pass it over to me, and we will try again. Roll. No. You won the game. <laughs> All right, another two thousand dollars added to Brandon's winnings there, and uh, let's go to game number two here, shall we? And call number one still has the boat and the espresso machine and the desk, but now we're adding a smartphone plus a year of service. Call a number two service. has the bedroom group and maid service for a year. That's an almost $8,000 prize. Call number three, trip to Aspen, child's room, Jeep Wrangler, barbecue, and exercise cycle. So that is still full. $61,612. Oh. Thanks for letting us guess, even though there and is. Call number, number three is the hot one this time. Yeah, I want to try something before you move on. This better freaking work. Let this one in and let me have control. Because if this doesn't work, I'm going to be All upset. Right. So I will disconnect uh, that one yeah, for Travis well, and give you control left. for that. Okay, there we go. Uh, you still have the M key there, Travis. And here yeah, is I the, hope it's the And here's the first question in round two. Woodward and Bernstein were reporters for what influential newspaper? Oh. I feel like I should know this, but I have no idea. I feel like I should know that, but... And I was trying to buzz in until you said newspaper, and I was like, yeah, no. <laughs> All right. That newspaper ah. was the Washington Post. I would have been wrong. I would have said New York Times. All right. Off the coast of what country would you find a huge coral formation known as the Great Barrier Reef? Uh, Brandon? That would be off the coast of Australia. Correct you all, Mike. All right, go ahead and roll. Crikey, Mike. Why do you do this? Why are you embarrassing Australians everywhere? <laughs> Nonetheless, <laughs> roll on the dice. Uh, so I spare you from the French accent, but then I proceed to do an Australian one. Uh, I am weird sometimes, yeah. am I not? Mark, you're Canadian. Just stick with the French. It's closer to your native tongue anyway. But I digress. I'll take the five. All right, five by itself. And what cartoon characters Elmer Fudd always trying to hunt down? Brandon. That Lascoe Wabbit, Bugs Bunny. That's correct, Doc. All right, I shall roll, and I shall roll, hopefully, a 11. A 
And you got the 11. Let's go, baby. Six, three, and two. Call number three goes to you. Well done there. All right. <laughs> what are the first right. three words in the text of the King James Bible? Brandon? In the beginning. Yes. And All you right. now have a two, three, six is bad rolls. What do you want to do? That darn six again. You know what? I think the first time was a fluke. I'll take a shot. I'll roll. All right. No six, no three, please. No six, no three. How about a nine, though? Wow. Are you kidding me? It oh, happened geez. again. $1,000 for Travis. <laughs> and both oh. times in the exact same round and with favorable odds, I might add. Uh, but nonetheless, we go to a tiebreaker once again. Now we're adding some surfboards to call number one. And no, those surfboards are not $9,000. Thank you very much. You would pay 9000 Well, I wouldn't, but... Uh, that one lady that was on Prices Right one time bid $9,000 for him. Here come the numbers. And this time it is called number two. All right. And here is question number one. Name the ship that was taken from the command of Captain William Bly. Brandon? Mm. Is it the bounty? It is the bounty, yes. From the famous quote, mutiny on the bounty. All right. Um, okay, time to redeem myself. i got to pull out of my comfort behind win again. <laughs> Well, Ooh, you're starting with a double with a six. That'll help you out. See, that's not even funny, Dice. I see what you're trying to do there. Um, I will take the six by itself, please. All right. And the next one. This former flying nun won Oscars for the movies Norma Ray and Places in the Heart. Uh, Who is she? Okay, so uh, Travis's phone does work for buzzing in, then. Good. Go ahead, Travis. It does? Yeah, you were wow. able to buzz in. I saw you. Uh, that was freaking amazing. Uh, is it Whoopi Goldberg? Not a bad guess, but that is incorrect. It is Sally Field. That was dang. That was, Who, of course, yeah. is also in Mrs. Doubtfire with uh, Robin Williams. A very good movie. Brandon, dice are yours. Comfort. All right. Come on. How about an eight? Eight would be awesome. Come on, eight. <laughs> Seven. Of course. Um, let's do the four and the three this time. All right. The three and what other number? The, the four. four. All right. The three and the four. All right. So the four is now a bad number. On what continent is Mount Kilimanjaro the highest peak? Brandon? Kilimanjaro would be Asia. Well, it does start with an A, but it's Africa. Mm. All right, Travis, only bad number is four. What's it going to be? I'll roll. Okay. Please roll. All right, see your enter key there on your phone. Oh, yeah, I'm hitting that mark. Nine. Took forever to get there, I guess. Um... Nine. All right. Nine is still good. Complete the fault. The next. All right. We want you to state the next line of this following quote. One small step for man. Brandon. One giant leap for mankind. And one more correct answer for you. What do you want to do? It's also what he said before he fell off the top of the hell in the cell. But that's a whole different story right now. Um, I will roll. Okay. Please no four. Please no four. We have an insurance market, so keep that in mind. And there's an 11 for you. How about the 
eight, the two, and the one, please. How about that? And that gives you two columns. So, very nicely done there. And here is the next question. What place did King Arthur call home? That is... Can I guess? Well, yeah, is go it ahead. Cam it's a Camelot? That was it. Camelot. All right. Name Grab the classic it. Hitchcock film of 1960 that ends with a fly crawling across the face of Anthony Perkins. <laughs> and a very popular film at Can that. I? Can I? Yes, Nels, go ahead. Is this Psycho? Uh, yeah, it was Psycho. Uh, oh for those who don't know, Nels is a big likes horror movies a lot, so not surprised that he would get that. Um, Psycho wasn't my favorite one that Alfred Hitchcock did. All right. Uh, anyways, true or false? Unlike other marsupials, a wombat's pouch opens to the rear. Brandon? <coughs> true. That is true. All right, what do you want to do? 50 50 shot. Worth it. Pass, please. Okay. All right. Here we go. <laughs> no! And Brandon is good game. Good game. Yes, very good game, sir. <laughs> All right, so $1,000 for Travis, and we thank you very much for playing. But, uh, Brandon, look at this. $73,523 for you so far in this uh, match. Very well done. Wow. Now, let's add this to your uh, total that you had coming in. Let's see here. Uh, calculator. You are now at 301,886. Ooh, let's go, baby. Maybe another $100,000 win for this fine uh, gentleman. We'll find out. Yeah, you've already you already know how this works, uh, Brandon. So go ahead. All right, um, come on, looking for big numbers. How about I just need at least one nine to start. Give me a nine. We well, have an eight to start off this bonus round. Okay, eight's good. I'll take the eight. Thousand dollars. Go again. It's still like a nine or better. Nine or better. There's your nine. Finally, okay, we got a chance now. Take the nine, please. Very well, and you may roll again. All right, the rest of them I got a chance on. Let's go. Nine again. All right, let's go seven and two. All right, four thousand okay. dollars now. Go again. Come on, big number, big number. Seven. Six and one, please. Okay. Now, if you get the 12, right now you'll win another $100,000. If I can only be so lucky. Praying to the dice gods that are out there. Give me the old box car. Show me the high side of the high low. Give me a 12. Well, we can take the four and the five off. All right. Now you need a three for another hundred grand. One shot at a three. Come on, ace, deuce, on the loose. Come on, three! One short, but oh. that does give you another chance. All right, 
Come on, man. Come on. Give it to me. Give me that three. One, two, three. No. Not this time, Brandon, but you do pick up another $8,000. And that gives you a three-day total of 309886 All right. You guys got to take it for later. Well, uh, Brandon, uh, your last two last two matches here, uh, we've given away a lot of money here. How do you how are you feeling so far? I'm feeling pretty good. Like I said I think I got really lucky the last time I played um, the bonus the bonus round here, but again, this wasn't meant to be this time around. But hey, I get to, I get another shot at it, so we'll see what we do next. Yeah. Time. And, of course, uh, should you win two more matches, you will become our second car winner this season. Ooh. So, can he get that fourth win and get one step closer? We'll find out next time.